everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I have a question. Does your state or your town or wherever you live, do they push the flu shots and make it sound like if you don't get it, you're gonna really regret it? Well, that's what they're doing right now for us here in, in New York. They're pushing those flu shots and making it sound like it's gonna be the worst flu ever it probably will, it might be the worst flu ever, but every year they say that, and every year I have not gotten the shot because the one time my parents got the shot, they got really, really, really sick. Although they say the shot doesn't give you the flu, but why did they get the flu? And the um, when I was at the gym the other day, one of the guys said that he um, got the shot and sure enough, he got sick too. And others have gotten sick when they get the shot. So it is a live virus in there. So maybe, maybe it gives you the flu. I don't know. But do they push the flu on you? Do they make it sound like you better get it or you're going to be really sorry that you didn't get it? Losing and you're going to lose thousands and thousands of dollars because you didn't get the flu shot. Maybe you'll lose out on work. Maybe that's where the money thing is. I don't know. But um, I was just curious about that. Then there was others that were talking about, there was, I guess, a 50 question thing going on around there. And one of the questions on it was, can you hula hoop? Well, I can hula hoop. And I thought I would show you my hula hoops. I do have several, but mine are homemade. I do have, I think, a bought one. I'm not sure. I don't remember whether the kids have destroyed it or not. But we'll go check and I'll show you some hula hooping. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, you're in the picture. <laughs> he was in the picture. I can turn it the other way. I'll turn it the other way so I see me in the mirror instead of you. Or no, I'm actually, so you can see the back of me. There. So it's kind of good. I'll just turn this just a little. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now you've got two of me. Me here and me in the mirror. Okay. And this hula hoop is one of the store-bought hula hoops. And these are the harder ones to do. So if you're going to use one of these... Why is it harder? Because it's too light. They don't make them heavy. But if you get the real hula hoops that are, that are weighted, they're probably easy. But you just are... Woo! I almost went down because I'm not thinking. But anyways, one of these is kind of hard. Okay, you can't do this one? Don't worry about it. You can buy pecs. Pecs. It's, it's for plumbing. This is, this is a very large, as you can see. See, it's a very large, but this is heavier. And this was put together with a wood plug. And these are really easier as you notice, I don't have to work as hard. You just, just wiggle back and forth and you'll be able to do this one. This one's a real easy one. Okay, then if this one's too not easy enough, don't worry about it. We got another. This one is an underground water hose. This is huge. This you can see in the mirror. See how big it is? It's a big one. Anyways, um, this is heaviest, and when I was growing up, my dad had made us to, um, hula hoops like this, but this isn't one of them. This is one that, is yeah, it? This, yeah. Oh, That's this is my one of my hula hoops. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, we had two, and Anita and I, hi Anita, we used to stand there and just hula hoop. And this one, we would hula hoop for hours on end all summer long and after you've hula hooped all summer believe it or not we had lost an inch off our waist just from this motion and just with the hula hoop going around and after when you first start if you've got bones that are hitting the they'll get a little bit bruised feeling because the hula hoop is heavy and when it goes around it actually bangs your bones but Yep, this is the easy one. And we used to stand and just hula hoop all summer long outside, singing our songs. And then when we were, um, we used to walk with them. 
home too. I don't know if I can still do that. Where you'd, you'd kind of, you gotta really move. Bye. Oops, I'm getting too close to the what you call it. Okay, we'll go this way. All right. But anyways, woo! That's all that the hula hoops are. So if you want a hula hoop, make a big one. They're heavier and they're easier. Or make a little bit smaller. That one's on a one-inch pipe. This one's on a three-quarter inch. Okay, that one, the big brown, black one's out of a one-inch one pipe, inch pipe, and this one's out of a three-quarter inch. three-quarter inch pipe. And I don't know how tall it is. It's probably four foot tall. When you yeah, roll it, four. this one is because I'm five feet. And this other one just under probably is pretty tall. It's almost as tall as me. See? Okay, that's it. All right. And we'll go back in the other room. I'm done. So those of you that would like to do a little bit of exercise, and I'm sure at first it will feel like you're working really hard, and then it will feel like it's easy. Oh, excuse me, I'm burping. I just got all excited about all this, and I had some coffee before, and then I poured another cup because, oh, I can feel those burps, but they're baby ones. <laughs> There's nothing major. Um, also, Thomas, this is for you. I need your address so I can come and share those peanuts with you when they get here. I really, really want to share them with you. And um, people want to see a video of us making them, I guess. I don't know, but I'll, I'll see what happens when we get there. Alrighty. And so get me your address. My email is in my... Um, in my description also I have two different emails but I, I don't don't use the pasta suku one I never check that one to go back down further in the computer and it will say are you a robot <laughs> it wants to know and you can go from there and so it would be the that's my main the one that has my name my actual Mary Grace name on it that one and my it has my full name so I will wait for your, your, um, I'm stammering all my stars. Response. I'll wait for your response and then I will get back to you and we'll make a little trip. It'll be kind of fun. Alrighty, I'll talk to y'all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>